then it gives you an opportunity if you want to go deeper and you look at it that why did what does it mean to me not why it came or what does this mean to me like feeling jealous and if you examine it it just takes you back into this place that there is a deep belief that you are not good enough you are not worthy first it comes with that and then if you go one step deeper you will see it comes from a feeling that you're not complete you're not whole and the fact that down deep you feel you're not complete you are looking for an object outside of yourself to complete you i need to have more money i need to have that house because my buddy my friend my colleague they bought a house they got the station wagon the volvo station wagon with the dog in the back they got it perfect they have they bought the home in countryside and their business is expanding they're making more money and i'm where i am i haven't improved myself i'm not making any more money and actually i'm poorer i didn't find my love i don't have my home so i feel incomplete but you're looking for completion outside of yourself those are just objects as quick quickly as you may acquire them you can lose them too any moment so you need to come back to the self and come back through meditation go beyond the thinking mind and come to this place that we experienced earlier during our webinar is when you go you go beyond the mind and you come to silence you become quiet and there's no thoughts so you're in this place there's no thoughts and you're still then the story that compares the mind that compares itself to somebody else that they've got more and i've got less or they're happy because they're they they found their partner and they they they're in union with someone else and i don't have that that story disappears even if it's in for 5 or 10 minutes that story that i'm not complete there's something missing in my life it's a sensation it's it's just a, a game the mind plays to take you outside of now to make you project on a future it's a hypothetical future that if in the future i find my love or i am more successful then i will be complete but it doesn't matter you finally find your love and you're more successful since you don't know what's up and you're not really working on yourself and you don't understand this and then there's always something else now something else is wrong okay you got the man or the woman you wanted and your business is doing really well but now the new thing comes that oh you're worried about your beautiful wife or your handsome man that he may just be fooling around with someone else or people are after my partner and i may lose my partner now your mind goes into that or your partner anytime is talking to another person you may experiencing jealousy and insecurity or you're really worried you may lose your assets so 
it always going to perpetuate itself and it's always going to recreate another scenario. It's not in the objects. So if you think that by getting the objects, you got it, you're wrong. So I'm going to ask you for, for a few more minutes, few minutes, we have time. Let's sink back into this place where there is no mind. And let's see when you come to this place that there is no mind and you're here, if anything's missing, okay? Just close your eyes and come back to this place. As you can see for yourself, I mean, this is an examination process that everyone needs to dive into it and look at it because it's something that we deal with throughout our lives. And when we're not equipped and we don't have the awareness, um, it's a strong emotion and it can take over. And it, it can take you to madness. I mean, people have killed their brothers, sisters over jealousy or partners. Uh, if it's a romantic story and you're in love with someone and um, or you're obsessed in this love, I wouldn't even. And then uh, so many different things in the history of mankind has happened and it's still happening to this day based on jealousy. Career has been destroyed. Um, people really fell out of a lot of relationships, uh, betrayals. All kinds of different things happen. Uh, so for some people, it's very strong. Some people deal with it very uh, easily. But basically, it all comes back to one thing, all of it. It all comes back to the lack of understanding of the nature of the absolute. The lack of understanding that you are, we are exactly where we're meant to be, 100%. If you could have been somewhere else, you would have been. If you could have been with somebody else, maybe you would have. But you're exactly where you're at. So that kind of understanding and acceptance accepting it, accepting your destiny, accepting your current place, then it helps you so you don't go into the mind and go into the stories of, I didn't get enough, I deserve more, I should have been there, I should have been here, I made a mistake, I should have gone to medical school when I had a chance, I am so stupid, I got married at age 18 with my high school sweetheart and I haven't happened to have three kids. And then I got stuck in a small town and I never made it anywhere. Whatever stories, scenarios that happen in our lives. Is happening now is. That if you're able to understand and come outside of the mind and fall back into the silence fall back into this place your eternal being diving into the presence and then the mind becomes quiet then there is no story the story disappears and you begin to reunite not Again, that's not even the right word, reunite, as if you're not united with yourself. You are always united with yourself. But this isn't a matter of explaining it. Is that you begin to experience the presence and the power of now, the power of the being that you are, which the being you are is far, far beyond any kind of imagination. If we only knew who we are and what we are, not even for one moment, you would never experience jealousy. 